Hurling Player of the Year, Kilkenny legend Henry Shefflin, will retire from inter-county hurling at a press conference in Kilkenny. The 10-time All-Ireland winner and 11-time All-Star said he had come to the final decision over the weekend and that he was sure this was the right time to go. It is with a deep sense of gratitude and personal contentment that I am announcing today that I am bringing to an end my inter-county playing career with the Kenny Senior Hurling team. Even in retirement, Henry Shefflin has the ability to make a little bit of history. The very first press conference to announce the retirement of a top-class inter-county player attracted massive media attention in Kilkenny earlier today. In his written statement, he acknowledged the many influences in his career, including his long-term senior inter-county manager. Brian Cody has been part of my senior inter-county career from the beginning and I have benefited greatly from his guidance and support. I thank him and his management teams for the huge role they have played in the success I have enjoyed. He spoke of the difficulty leaving the inter-county scene that has been part of his life for the last 16 years. You have to do what's right for yourself and uh, I just felt now was the right time for myself. Uh, could you ask for any more? Uh, the win, what we won last year with the Kenny, you know, League, Leinster, All Ireland, and then to replicate that with your club. Um, if there was ever a time to go, now was the right time to go, you know. Earlier in the day at his home, he reflected on the personal highlight of his intercounty career. To play at the top of your game when the pressure is the most and the pressure's on the most on the biggest stage, uh, I would obviously highlight the 2012 All Ireland final, the day we drew with Galway. I just came into a zone that it's very hard to describe. I just got in a, a level where all I wanted to do was just play hurling like there was no one else in the field. While Henry Shefflin departs the inter-county scene, he did confirm that he would continue to play with his club, Bally Hale Shamrocks. Marty Morrissey, RT News, Kilkenny. Now, there's been lots of praise within Kilkenny and indeed across the country for Henry Shefflin, with many of his peers saying they were lucky and indeed unlucky to have shared the same playing field with the man they call the king. Michael Kavna knows Henry Shefflin as well as anybody, from the time Henry was a sub-goalie here at Kieran's College, to playing minor football and soccer together, to Henry becoming a living legend on the hurling field. I think he had a complete package, you know, and a lot of people didn't probably didn't see his work rate, you know, the amount of blocking and hooking, the selflessness. He'd always be looking for a place to ball, his vision, a top class vision to pass around the ball, but he also you know, like to lose his man, you know. He had it all, but he had the silken touches, you know. But he, he knew he he knew that he had put in the hard work and the, the commitment and the extra hours. Shefflin County training last September. Kilkenny kit man record Cody says the Bally Hale man was special and he'd be there early at training. He'd be there at half six and he'd be out on the field pucking the ball around and even afterwards I'd have to go out to him as well to see would he come in to get the balls off him. He'd be pucking balls over the bar, taking frees and various other things like that. You could never get one way from it. Shefflin was tormentor in chief for Cork many times. Not only could he get scores of vital times, big scores of vital times in games, he had an uncanny knack of finding space in tight places where no one else could do it and he, he always found himself on the ball or his teammates found him in that space. Some of Shefflin's finest performances were against Tipperary. My main memory of Henry is of being a leader and somebody that Kilkenny would always have been the go-to man when things didn't go so, weren't going so right for him. Um, great role model. Back in Kilkenny this afternoon, Henry and his wife Deirdre helping a fundraising drive for their designated charity, the Irish Wheelchair Association. His 2014 boots are already worth 2,000 euros. Across the road, the next generation of hurlers, inspired by Henry and his band of brothers. As good a legacy as any. Damien Tiernan.